Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're truly loved this injury, you're mad. High load of pluses, harm reduced, just prepare and clever 23, boxes mad, and good as well. This is 13. And all neutral guy. Uh, Happy New Year. Yes, let's see that. And then we'll go and uh, take Boon and go to the El Dorado Gas and Service. Or Gas and Service. Either way. We can get some sort of shotguns apparently. Do I want them? Not really. I don't have the perk yet to use it to repair my own shotgun. And I'm not entirely certain my shotgun is still up to all the things it needs to be. Also I think I got the star thingy again. Which is cool. Ooh. That's actually full bottom. Why not? Don't put the gun drops there. Uh, ammunition? Sure. Not sure why they were selling this sort of stuff in a gas stop. That would be fair, I guess this place must have been inhabited quite recently. Is it that right, Boone? I'm right, Boone. Confirm what I said, Boone. Do it. Or not, why not? Okay, bye. Back to the outer world again. The open world. Get some cigarettes, why not? I can carry something. And what I can't carry, I could give the boon. I forgot that was an option. Ah, now. That music there, eerie. Yeah. I really don't know if there's anything nearby that is actually of any danger at all. I don't see anything red out there. And with Boone's spotting ability, that should be the best way to not notice enemies. Ah. It does have a range limit. Uh, shouldn't actually surprise me. I really don't want to go down there. Do you want to go down there, Boone? Ah, uh, let's not go down there. It looks like a silly place. Let's head along the road. Yeah. Okay, there's a fire there. But I'm uncertain whether or not the fire is owned by anyone who doesn't want me dead. So, the easy choice is to pick up some white horse nettle. I don't know why. Why that is the easy choice. Maybe because it's some sort of loot. Also since I am going to build a proper PC for a change, video quality should improve in the future. Alright, he is not a mini, so we could talk to him maybe? I should probably continue to uh, I'll spook him if I do that. Ooh. Nice guitar. Hi. Howdy there, partner. Hi. What's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since my pa up and left. Your father abandoned you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Like, looks, sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wondering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. You were better off without him. You became your own man outside of his shadow. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own paw. And a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, and 
but he ain't an easy man to find. And what will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Sounds like you should move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Don't say that idea, sorry. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. That's a mighty fine guitar you got there, there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Have you been playing long? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Oh, okay. So long, friend. If you find any work, I'll let you know. Assuming I find any work. And you're still here by the time I find any work. And I actually remember by then, which I probably will not do. Yep. Odds are looking mighty fine for me to just forget about it all. Right, is there anything I can repair with this with? No, of course not. Where would it be? It's a nice calm episode thus far, just walking along. Just walking along. Is that right, Boon? No assassins, no bandits, no raiders, no gangsters, no nothing. I even snuck past the ants. Yeah. Seems like things are going just fine. Except, you know, when nothing dies, I gain less, less XP and I kinda I need experience, don't I? Oh, well. I suppose maybe I should change my strategy then. Or just pick up more metal. That also works. Not just ants. Wait, what's in the car? Is that an ant too? That might also be an ant. Boulder City. Should we go visit Boulder City? Where are we anyway? I know I'm supposed to... Oh, I'm apparently supposed to go to Boulder City. Well, I suppose we're going to Boulder City then. He is hoping it doesn't kill us. To visit the city. Of the border kind. Right. Maybe if I actually walked instead of sneaking, we could get somewhere faster. Yeah, that could work. Hmm. I want you in my inventory, though I don't remember what you're for. You stop creaking right now. No falling onto me. Hmm. Yeah. Those sips. Okay, so this is Border City. Don't wait another damn minute. <laughs> That's nicely ornamented, isn't it? Alright. Hello, locals. How goes it? On this spot in the year... Uh, go away. Kowalski, out of my way Kowalski, I want to read. On this spot in the year 2277, rangers and soldiers of the New California Republic turned back the forces of Caesar's legion during the Battle of Hoover Dam. Over 100 men and women gave their lives on Nevada soil to defend local civilians and the principles of the Republic. 
May this humble stone be an enduring memorial to their valor and sacrifice. Hi. You here to pay your respects to? What is this memorial? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City and blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. Where are you normally stationed? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. All right, see. You. Bye. Safe journeys. Okay, Toki. Ah, the big horn saloon. There's probably somewhere, someone out here somewhere who actually knows something about something. And this place just started to look familiar. But of course it did. Joy. To stealth for this. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the great cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. They might have something of mine, a platinum chip. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Uh, where are you, what are you going to do about the hostages? Acceptable casualties, I've been told. I don't like it, but the brass has their reasons. I may be able to negotiate. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Ah, uh, don't worry about me. I can handle myself in a fight. Good luck. We are gonna get some people boon, come on with me. Unless I actually pass the speech test check thingy. But I'm not convinced on the odds of that. Troopers? Where is this man I seek? Jessup they call him. Are you Jessup? No, you're a great Khan. Are you Chesap? No, you're a great Khan. I get what's so great about you guys anyway. Well, apparently we're allowed to just walk in. Let's do that. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Uh. I got better. And here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Where's the platinum chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. Alright, so... Let's talk about settling things between you and the NCR. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR escort you out of the territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But alright, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I want some more answers. Yeah? On what? What can you tell me about Benny? He's one of the chairmen. Big shots that run the Topps Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. What do you know about the platinum chip? 
It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. Why did Benny betray you? He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. Alright, let's talk about something else. Fine. Like, goodbye. Eh, yeah, go on. Uh, am I allowed to just uh, loot the place? So oh, fine. Uh, more speech sounds good. Uh, where's my science and repair? They also sound very good. Let's put that one point into guns because, well, pew pew pew, guns. I really have been slacking on my guns. Apparently, I'm not allowed to just take all of this stuff, so that's cool. Hello. Hi. Man, I'm sick of this place. Can't wait to get back to Red Rock. Well, have fun there. Uh, hello, McMurphy. You look kind of cool. Was, was I about to say cool? Yeah, I was. I kind of meant dead. Shh. No one sees me. I'm just gonna take all your stuff. Great cans. That'll do. So, how are you? Man, I'm sick of this place. Yeah, I, I guess to get back as to much. Bye, hostages. You stay safe there. But we just kill everyone secretly. But no one is expecting it. Evening. What is the point of that again? Uh, nice eye badge. Hmm. Alright then. Where were the hostages even? Oh, what's th no? Pfft. Yeah, what's that? I wonder. Looked a lot like a toilet. That should sell for something, I think. And we'll need all the caps we can get for our plan of uh, pretty much. Oh. That's also something I need to level up, apparently. I forgot about that. Uh, we need all the gaps we can get for our plan to fill ourselves up with implants. Well, chips, really. And pressed implants. Silicon. Right, so what else do we have here? Two police stories. Sure. Spike knuckles. Sure. Sounds like a good enough deal to me. I didn't even have to pay anything. Just had to pick up some stuff. Always a valid option. Always a great deal. Right, so troopers. Spread out, go home. We're done here. Uh, well, actually, no, you're supposed to escort them out of here as well. Nope, there's your privates. <laughs> Lieutenant, I just saw your privates. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. Uh, the Great Cons let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? Hmm. If it was I who made the deal, so you know, you don't. Uh, you're the officer here. Make the call. I don't like it. But orders are orders. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's go kill them all. They probably have some loot somewhere as well. Already at me. That's a five percent chance. I'll take it. Oh shit! It actually hit. Where are they? Eat this.
Nice. I should be able to fix one up real nice. Hey, I did. I didn't kill one of you. Not really, anyway. Where's the corpse? I see the blood, but I don't see the corpse. Did it fall down? Oh, yeah, it did. Nifty. Maybe I should have run out the deal. It doesn't really matter now, does it? The majority of them have been slain. And I don't mind. I suppose we should go in and kill the last of them. Hmm. How to handle this? Oh, wait. Hunting rifle, do I not have you on any button? Apparently, yeah. I have to go, go by repeated there, but that's really not very good. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Do chess up. Come on! You're mine. Had enough? Oh, I missed. At least Boone's useful. Well, I'm just being an absolute... <laughs> noob. Wait, Jessup's bandana? Cool. There's a normal bandana. Wait. Can I use this Jessup's bandana for anything reasonable? It has the same stance as my current hat, but it also cannot be repaired. Not yet, anyway. Ooh. Sure, I'll take the money. Sure, I'll take the ammo. Fixer. Oh, that's temporary addiction removal thingy. Which is worth quite a lot for its... Uh, What is it? Wait, which is none. Hello. Never gone up against great cons before. Where's your commanding officer? I guess it doesn't matter. We won. We could have a nap though. There should be napping places about. I think I saw some napping places down there, which should be fine to use. I'll give them that very, very use of uh, having an app. And then I think I'm going to call the episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. You're good at spotting. Spot me a bed.